them all the way through, and some of our old ones are sitting right over here. Some of the same kids that we talked about a couple of years ago being the ones that we can't imagine replacing. It always amazes me. I look at some of those guys and how good they were when they were here, and we say, what in the world are we going to do when they leave? And then you look over and you see what comes up here and, and, and what replaced them. It's just unbelievable. And we said this the other day, and I caught some heat from it from older kids who were at the concert. I said that I think in my entire teaching career, I'm not sure that I've ever seen a group this talented individually as a whole. That, that, that I'm going to miss as a whole this much. Most of the time you have the haves and have-nots. You have the kids that are really leading the program, and they're, and they're hard to replace every year, and you miss them like crazy. And then you have kids who are less dedicated to the program. who, who They do their part, and, and that's about where it is. And they could take it or leave it sometimes. I, I mean this sincerely. If, you, if you've been around this program for a long time, you know that we have really, really high standards. You can tell from what we produce and the kind of kids up here and the teachers we bring in that we have really high expectations of what we want them to be able to do when they leave. I don't think that I've ever seen a group buy into that philosophy and produce the way this group did. Because a year ago when they left, we thought, eh, could be a down year. We're going to have to see somebody step up. And man, did they. They broke every record coming and going. Every one. There's not a record that we had. And we broke our own record three times in the last six years at the state level. And these guys shattered it. And normally we beat it by one. They whipped it by three and then had five more standing at, and I think, three first alternates. It, it was ridiculous. It's becoming a joke of how many are you going to bring this year. Last year they said, how many are you going to have make all state next year? What, 20? And somebody said, smart aleck to me, kind of going, yeah, what are you going to do, hot shot, get 20? And we got 19. <laughs> and three first alternates, and I was ticked. And I was like, man. You know, we, we told them at the beginning of the year, I said, you know, we don't think it's possible to get 20, but it sure would be fun. And, and, and they just tried to crush it and just did it like crazy. And in addition to that many, they still had 60 left over for all region. And next year's group is bigger in eighth grade, 80, 80 eighth graders next year. <laughs> There was a time when we were lucky to have 25 when we started this. And we normally wind up with about 50. We're jumping up another 30. Uh, for next year, the 7th grade band is well over, almost pushing 120. Still, And the beginners are going over 160 with still recruiting to go. It, it's ridiculous what's going on here. And we, we hope you guys go out and champion it and talk up what we do. I want to tell you before we play our last song how incredibly proud we are of these kids and the support you give them to do this. We realize that we're privileged and that, that a lot of places cannot do what we do. But we're really glad it's us that gets to do it. So we're going to close tonight with Little Go Around in Circle, one of my favorite little R&B songs.